Okay, so we're gonna be taking a look at uh, Miss Weavers and Legion right now. Uh, I haven't even put a video up in a while, so I gotta get on that quickly. I'm gonna be busting out a couple here every day. So, uh, first of all, I made a panda, obviously, because if you're gonna be a monk, why not be a panda? So we're panda. Okay, let's just go into the abilities and talents first, I guess. This is the most important thing to do. So, abilities that we have, let's see. So we have Blackout Kick, uh, Crackling Jade Lightning, Damaging... So this is like standard monk stuff. Instant, Physical Chi entered, Kick with a boss, Physical Chi entered. Does it not cost any, like, Chi? Hello? It doesn't say... Wait, what? So we don't have Chi anymore. But that's for Windwalkers anyways, right? Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, that's a kick, standard kick. Uh, like ability damaging. Um, detoxes are uh, basically a dispel. If you use the fa a fast and efficient spell healing the target. So this is uh, like our small heal, I guess. Yeah, that's just, that's just like a regular healing wave or whatever. Enveloping mist, I think this is the same as last uh, expansion. Reps target and healing mist, healing uh, 20k, 200k, pardon me, over 26 uh, seconds. Increasing healing received. Ooh, so this seems... Wait, why am I soothing this right now? Okay. Oh. So it seems every time I hit an ability that heals, I automatically get soothing mists, which is really strange. But okay, we'll take a look at that later. Essence Fawn unleashes a rapid twirl of healing bolts up uh, at up to six allies with 25 yards every one second for 2.7 seconds. Each bull heals a target for 27k plus additional 9k over six seconds. So it's like an AOE kind of thing. Okay, so it's like an AOE heal, I guess. Uh, not sure how. Doesn't seem like that takes very hard. I don't think that's going to be used that often. Uh, so life cocoon. That seems like the exact same as it was. Should be as last expansion then. And paralysis, that's standard from the last expansion. Uh, provoke, taunts the target and causes them to move toward you. Uh, that's, I think that's kind of pointless in PvE, uh, PvP. It's more of a PvE thing, I think. Reawaken is returning all dead party members to life. So that's our res. Uh, renewing mist. So this is kind of like it was last expansion as well, I think. Renewing mist heals the target past maximum health, so it will travel to another injured ally. Wow, it's actually really interesting. Each time renewing mist heals, it has a 4% chance to increase the healing of your next uh, vivify. Where's vivify? Do I not have that on? I don't think so. So this is another res. We actually have like two reses. One's an AOE, and then one's a single target. So revival heals a party member within 40 yards for... Wait, oh wow, all party members. That's actually a lot. Only 200k though. That doesn't seem like a lot, but that, I guess, like, I don't know. It seems like it has a really large cooldown. Rising Sun Kick. Okay, that's, like, last expansion. We have Roll. Two charges. Artifact Weapon. Uh, draws all nearby clouds of mist generated by Shiloon. Healing the target for 4,000 per cloud absorb. Huh. So I wonder... That seems kind of strange, actually. I'll get back to that one later, I guess. Spinning Crane Kick. Is kind of a standard ability. So thunder focus chi. Uh, receive a jolt of energy empowering your next spell cast. Renewing mist does not trigger cooldown. Wait what? Fuse healing increase by 200%. Instant cast. Essence font castable while moving. What's essence font? This one? So this is like, this is pretty cool. Uh, we'll put that there. Ooh, I just proc something. The next Vivify causes 40% increased healing. Oh, wow. So I can proc a Vivify? What's a Vivify? I don't even have Vivify on yet. Okay, this is Vivify. We'll get to that later then. Uh, Tiger Palm. Uh, Tiger Palm Transcendence. This is like standard stuff, I think, as well. We'll put that there for now. I'm going to change this. Uh, Keybind. Okay, we'll just put that there for now. So, continuing. Vivify now. Causes surrounding and healing them and their two nearest injured allies. So it seems like we do a lot of kind of AoE healing. So wait. 
causes a surge of invigorating mists around the target, healing them and their two nearest injured allies. For Okay, that doesn't heal a lot though. Does this do anything for Vivify? No mana cost. I feel like that's not even a lot of mana. Yeah, it's not even a lot of mana, really. I think Vivify is not that good. Doesn't seem like it's going to be our like main ability or whatever. Uh, Zen Pil Pil Pilgrimage. Okay, that took me a while to say. And then passives. So our passives are Effuse, Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist. Also cause a gust of healing mist. So this is like, every time we use a healing ability, we automatically get thing. Soothing Mist, too. Which is kind of weird. I don't know if I like that that much, but... So, kicking physical damage to... So what does it say here again? Black Cat has a 50% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Rising Sun Kick. So it seems like we can actually do a bit of damage, maybe. If we have these three abilities. Because these three abilities, I feel like they do a lot of damage. So our healing abilities right now is essentially... Enveloping Mist. Renewing Mists, we can go with right after. And then Vivify, I guess. Or whatever you call this. Essence... Vivify. Important to have Enveloping Mist up. Because our next heal gets increased, right? Increases all healing received from other spells at 30%. Okay. So, talents now. So, Chi Burst, which is kind of the same as before, hurls the Torrent of Chi energy up to 40 yards, dealing uh, 60k damage, nature damage to all enemies, and 58 healing to the monk and ally it does damage and healing and it's an aoe zen pulse triggering a zen pulse around an ally deals 60,000 damage to all of them the target the ally is healed for 44 per enemy damaged wow so this could potentially do a lot more and it's an instant too this one's casted right oh that's such a short cast though so it's like not even doesn't really even matter instantly dash to a friendly player and heal them for 77k see that also seems pretty good now I don't know what I'd want to go with here. What's good about these two is that they do damage. This one, though, could do a lot more healing than all the other ones. The thing is, with this one, it heals all allies. And Zen Pulse just heals one. But Zen Pulse can heal for a lot more. You can heal a lot, someone, like, a crazy amount with Zen Pulse. If you're playing against, like, a uh, LSD, for example, I think maybe this one, or, like, like, a lock, like an affliction lock that rots you down, you would want to go with the Chi Burst. But... We'll see. So cheap torpedo, long distance, tiger's lost, increase the friendly target by 70% for 600 rooms, all roots and snares. Reduce the cooldown of a roll by 5 seconds, increases the max. I feel like tiger's lost is really good. Uh, I don't think this is that good. And cheap torpedo could definitely be good. But um, I don't know if it's the best one or if it's really the one you want to go with. Because I think people though used it last expansion, but I don't think this was a thing. Removes all roots and snares, so I think that's definitely better. Okay, life cycles. Enveloping mist. Uh, mist reduces the mana cost of your next vivify by 20%. Vivify reduces the mana cost of your next enveloping mist by 20%. If I choose this, and I use my vivify. Oh, okay, yeah, the mana cost went down. Teachings of the monastery causes each additional blackout kick to restore some mana. Increases enveloping mist duration by one second and its healing bonus by 10%. Wow. Oh, this seems really, really good. Because now I can move while using Soothing Mist. And now this lasts longer and does 10% more for healing. That seems like that's the best talent, I think, there. Life cycle seems pretty good too, but I think this one's better for sure. Okay, we're going to stick for this one, with, uh, stick with this one for now. We'll change it if we need to later, though. Okay, ring of peace. Form a ring of peace around the friendly target for 8 seconds. Enemies in that ring that use a harmful spell or ability will be knocked out of the ring. Uh, Song of Chi conjures a cloud of hypnotic mist that tra slowly travels forward. Enemies touched by the mist fall asleep, disoriented for 20 seconds. Because if that hits, that can be really good. But I feel like it's so easily avoided that like it might not. it's probably not worth it. Lake Sweep might be the best ability here. Yeah, definitely Lake Sweep for sure. Okay, I can't change that yet, but we'll go with Lake Sweep, 100%. Uh, drink a healing elixir, healing you for 50% of your maximum health. This is really good. Healing elixir will automatically trigger when you drop below 35% health. Uh, diffuse magic, reduces magic damage you take by 60% for six seconds and transfers all currently active harmful magic effects on you back to the original caster if possible. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know. 
Dampen Harm. Reduces all damage you take by 30% for the, from the next three attacks that damage you for 50% or more of your maximum health. Castable whilst... Okay, that could be really good too. Some of these could actually be good situational abilities, I think. I actually can't believe... What's his name? Retired. Tim Duncan just retired, man. Shit. What a guy. 19 years. And he finally retires. What a legend. I feel like Damp and Harm is a good one as well, because you can cast it while stunned. But this is like an instant heal. Like, and you have two stacks of it too. So that's 200k. I feel like that's really good. Huh. I kind of like that. Okay. This one I think we'll definitely have to revisit. And see which one's better. But we'll continue. Uh, refreshing Jade win. Summon a whirling tornado around you causing 50k healing over 5.5 seconds. Invoke GG. The red crane. This is almost like a trend, right? The statue summons a Jason statue at the target location when you channel soothing mist. The statue will also channel soothing mist on your target, healing for 50% as much. So that's just like increased healing. I don't think this is as good because I don't think uh, Essence font is good enough to just buff. This one would seem really good. It's a three minute cooldown though. Because he lasts for 45 seconds and he heals 40k. Which could be really good. This one, like, if you're getting. Tr if somebody. If one person's getting trained though, this would be better. So I want to see this. So this thing's healing me and I'm healing myself as well. But this does 50% as much as I do. Which still seems like a lot. Okay, I'm going to keep this for now. Okay, but how do I cancel this heal? Like, I literally just can't cancel it. And then we have Manatee reduces the mana cost of your spells by 50% for 10 seconds. Uh, Thunder Focus T now empowers your next two spells. Oh, that's pretty good. Next two spells. Rising Thunder, Rising Sun Kick resets the remaining cooldown on Thunder Focus T. That could be good, but if you're not near anybody, that could be pointless because you might not ever get that kick off. Not 100% sure on this one. Manatee looks really good, but it's got a big cooldown. 50% though. Like, how much mana do I burn by going like this, this, this? And then we have our regular fuse here. I feel like mana is not going to be our problem though, unless it is, and I'm just completely wrong. So this is a damaging ability, right? So pulse around an ally deals damage. Okay. Uh. Yeah, because we have one, two, we have these three really are, so it's one, two, three, and then we have this as a heal as well. We have a couple other things like um, this, but it does damage and healing, and then this as well, but it doesn't do that much healing, but it's a good AoE heal. Uh, okay, we're going to go with Focused uh, Thunder right now. I think that one's going to be pretty good. So, uh, Honor Talents now. So we obviously go with Trinket. Defender of the Week, what does this do? Trinket only attack below 50%, you gain 20% haste. You're my Vigor. While you're at above, your healing is increased by 20%. When you use Thunder Focus T, you gain Zen Focus, causing you to be immune to all silence and interrupt effects. What? I don't know if that's good though. But it might actually be. Oh shit. Yo, if you can be immune. I think that's the best thing to go with. Like, being immune definitely has to be the best one there, I think. 
Okay, Yolan's gift. Using roll will dispel all snares effects. Wow, that's good. Increases the healing of your mist walk by 30%. Mist walk? What's mist walk? I don't even know what that is. Uh, fast feet. You move 50% faster for 3 seconds after being attacked. That's pretty good too. But this removing snares? Seems like it's really good. Surge of mist. Enveloping mist is now instant cast, but has a 6 second cooldown. That might be better though. It's not a long cast to start with, but that might be better. Even if it has a 6 second cooldown, it lasts for 6 seconds, right? Lasts for 7 seconds. So that would be good anyways. I don't see why that wouldn't be good. Increases your physical damage by 50%. You become immune to all snare and root effects, and you heal up to three nearest allies for 200% of all damage done. This increases your physical damage by 50%. You become immune to all snares and root effects. And you heal the three nearest allies. All damage done. That seems really interesting. That seems so cool. Okay. Ancient Mist Weaver Arts. Assuming Mist is now an active spell and it no longer is automatically applied through casting of use, whatever. Heals the target for. So now. So this is old. <laughs> this is old Soothing Mist. So, but I can't use that when I'm not in PvP. Hmm. I kind of want to see what other people are using too. Okay, reduces the cooldown of life cocoon by 90 seconds. It's three minute cooldown. Renewing missiles for 200% more when the target is affected by a damage periodic magic effect. And then. Developing mist transforms 100% of the remaining period of killing into a dome of mist when dispelled. Absorbs damage and healing received by the monk increased by 30%. Wow. Okay. So if you're playing like against something that has double dispel, which I don't know if anything does, that'd be really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna go with that for now, though. Uh, your fuse applies fortune tune. Uh, bleh, applies fortune turn, turned to the target, increasing the healing they receive. Healing received by your next fuse by 50% for six seconds. Stacks up to three times. Uh, I don't know. Refreshing Breeze increases the healing of Vivify by 25% and Vivify refreshes the duration of Renewing Mist on target it heals. Or healing, wait. Increases the healing of Vivify by 25% and Vivify refreshes the duration of Renewing Mist on the target it heals. Yeah, I don't know. And then, healing spheres. <sighs> Out of the minute start location, apply, walk through it, they consume the sphere, healing themselves. And dispelled, well, harmful, mat. Wow. That seems so good, dude. Fortune turned. Your fuse applies fortune turned to the target, increasing the healing received by your next fuse by 15%. Okay, I think I have everything set. I think that's all the talents and everything that we go with. And I think we're good.
Oh my goodness. So we have this down still. Okay, so essentially arena, we put this down. So we get in. We have to put our body here. We put this down. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Okay. That's really awkward. But we put that down anyways behind something. We go here. So we use this. We use this. We use this. And we can use this. And then... I can't use this because I'm not in an arena. But essentially it's enveloping mist. This. This. After this... It's Vivify. So it's this, this, Vivify, and then we can use Effuse if we need it. Okay, let's do it. So we'll just hot ourselves up. We have a rogue and a mage, right? Yeah. So we're just hotting ourselves up here. So, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Nice. Monk's OP, right? <laughs> oh my god, like... Uh, okay, I need to change my frames. They're just small frames. Okay, like, hello? What? The guy literally... Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what was that, man? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, so... Okay. I have really no clue what I'm gonna do, but again, we're hot. We're, we'll hot ourselves up first. I'm actually gonna play this middle. Okay, I got sapped and I didn't get my thing out. That's kind of awkward. Okay, I'm actually staying in room too. I'm sapped again. So, hot ourselves. Okay, like sweep him. Where's this guy at? Okay, I actually have to cocoon him here. Silly missed. Okay, I just wanted to paralysis him so I could stop him. But I don't think that was a good call at all. Okay, this guy walled. He's actually just LOS right now. I'm hitting the wrong buttons right here. It's okay though. Oh no, I'm healing the wrong guy. Hello? Oh my goodness. Okay, I was just healing the wrong target. I have to get used to like the keybinds and stuff. This is really awkward. Ah. Uh... Okay. Yo, my mom's so clutch. Just picked up a chicken and uh, steak sandwich. Perfect. Okay. Okay, like sweep them. Okay, I'm actually gonna get hit hard here. Uh, oh, I can't even hit that thing. That is so scary, man. I'm dead, though. I'm so dead. Whew. That was terrifying. Oh, this is gonna be huge heal, dude.
Okay, I need to get used to like all my keybinds and stuff. Like I'm playing really awkwardly right now. Okay, I'm just gonna leave right now. Eat my sandwich. Okay. So port here. Thing mid. Okay. Just kind of hauled myself up. Uh, coming in here. Rolling away. Okay, CS me. Just run away. This song's a jam right now. It's jamming. Okay, so here's the opener on me. I'm dead, dude. Dude, I just can't find the right keybinds. Yes. The god, dude. Oh my goodness. That was so hard. Keep forgetting to use artifact open, huh? Nice. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be hard too, I think. I'm not sure how. I have actually no clue how uh, Moonkins work. Ok, 
Okay, Sue's on me here. Uh, just gonna like Sue. Incaps me. I'll just incap him out of it. Oh, he's gonna like me here. Not even worth a trinket. Is it? Oh my goodness. Right into that man. She. That was really dumb of me. He's actually getting the pro strats on me, dude. Oh man, my keybinds. Keep messing them up. Okay, I have Kakoon back up too, which is good. Whoa, he's immune, hello? Oh no, 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 no. He's dead. Okay, we have no mana, dude. We're winning the way mana war, though. At least in this. Volcano with no trinket!
Okay, this guy's out of mana. I think we win this for sure now. At least. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't have a roll, dude. There we go, man. The pro, the pro plays there. It's pro strats. Holy crap! That was a dampener. The lake sweep paralysis on the heels, dude. Just get the kill. Oh, dude, monks are actually fun to play. I swear. Which is weird because it doesn't seem like it would be. So like overall, like honestly, I think monk of what I played seems the most fun out of both healers. I only played Resto Shaman and this, but Monk seemed to be the best healer out of those two. And it's kind of sad because I main uh, Resto Shaman, but I actually might have to consider going this because it was actually fun. It seems like numbers were ridiculous right now. Like just DPS do a crazy amount of damage, especially Demon Hunter. So. But overall, like, it actually feels really good. Only thing that feels really clunky is having, uh, auto, uh, thing. What do you, what do you call it? Like, you can have auto soothing mist, which is really, like, awkward to me. I think that's kind of really, really weird. I don't like it. Uh, but other than that, it does feel pretty good. Uh, like, it feels really similar to the last expansion. Biggest problem is... Probably okay. Let's stop that. It's probably just their uh, mana right now. Seems like they lose mana really, really fast, which was another problem back in Wad. So that's the only problem. But they seem like they do really strong healing too, like really, really strong. So pretty good. So so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna play more of it for sure. And then right now, this is the top healer I played. So All right, GG's. Peace.